Hello everyone again, my name is Chica and today I'm going to share with you my Lightbook Gun Pierce build. So these builds are definitely not the final builds as you get more talismans and as more monsters are getting introduced to the game as time goes on, there are definitely going to be better equipment that could complement the build. But for now, this is my current build. Also, if you enjoy what I do here, I also stream on Twitch.tv and if you like my videos, do hit the subscribe button and leave a like. Without a doubt, the best rapid fire pierce like bowgun is the Night Owl. It comes with a base affinity of 40%, that means a 40% crit chance, and has no deviation, and you can reach very low recoil and reload time with just a few decorations. When using this gun, I almost never use any other ammo other than the Pierce 2 ammo. Of course, you are still open to using all the other ammo such as slicing ammo, which has very low recoil and very fast reload. In this build, the core active skills you require are Attack Boost level 7, Pierce Up level 3, Recoil Down level 2, Crit Eye level 2, Maximum Might level 2, Crit Boost level 1, and Reload Speed level 1. You do not need recoil down higher than level 2 and reload speed higher than level 1 if you're only using pierce 2 ammo. Also, if you have a choice between maximum might versus crit eye, always go for maximum might. A point in maximum might gives you 10% chance to crit over crit eye that only gives you 5%. As a light bow gunner, you will rarely use your stamina, keeping your maximum might active. As for the armor active skills, I'm more inclined to go for raw damage over affinity. This is because the attack value is so low at the moment that the percent damage you get from critting is not high enough to surpass raw damage. Now I will explain why did I pick these armors. First up is the Renoplus Helm S. The reason why I picked this armor is for its Pierce Up level 2. As for the Shell Studded Vest S, it's for its Pierce Up level 1 and it's also good for fashion. For the Rathalus Braces S, it's because it gives attack boost level 2 and it has a level 2 slot, making it an attack boost level 3 armor. As for the Golden OB, it has crit boost level 1 and maximum mic level 1. Finally, the Ingot Grease, it gives you attack boost level 2 and crit eye level 2. When it comes to the Talisman, it doesn't really matter which one you pick as long as it has two level 2 decoration slots. By having those level 2 slots, you are able to fit in attack boost level 2 and whichever skills that complement your build. I personally pick Wirebug Whisperer 3 and Free Meal 2. As for the switch skill, I use the Reload, Forward Dodge, and Fanning Maneuver. The reason why I picked the Fanning Maneuver over the Fanning Ball is because the Fanning Maneuver gives you a bonus attack whenever you use it. You can tell when the Wirebug on your character starts to glow. And there you have it, that is my Lightbow Gun Rapid Fire Pierce 2 build. If you have any questions, do feel free to join in Discord or leave a comment and I'll reply to them as fast as I can. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please do subscribe and as always, happy hunting!